how to use the text exist activity in UiPath. Let's get an example of this. I have created a demonstration. Let me show you what this is going to do. This is going to open this particular page and any particular word I want to search. For example, research client check copy. Is this available in this entire section of this page? So it is going to search and tell me that output. So let me put that research client check copy and let me run this particular port, uh, specific workflow. And after this, I'm going to teach you how the text exist activity works. Okay. I will show you a demonstration. So you can see it has taken the entire screen and is showing yeah, research client check copy is found. So it is true. The value is true. So it returns a Boolean value as an output. So let's see how this works. Let's design this specific workflow. So the first thing, let me delete everything and start from the beginning. Open browser, use the open browser activity. And here in the open browser activity within double quotes, all you have to do is take this particular portal link, which I'm going to provide you on the description box. So let me go back and here I'm going to place within double quotes done. And once you do this, all you do go to the right hand side and select your specific browser. So mine is Chrome. Now after that, I'm going to use the text exist activity, drag and drop this. And here I'm going to indicate element inside a browser and this becomes slight tricky. Okay. So you want only this section, you want entire section. So you have to check where exactly it gives you the option to select the entire page. You can see by clicking my, my mouse over here, just above this line, it allows me to select this entire container. So do that very carefully wherever you are trying to use this activity. So once the container is selected, all I need to do is I need to pass what I want to search. So let's say I want to search, uh, let's say process vendor invoice, let's say I want to search. Okay, so I'm going to put that in double quote. So you can experiment with this once you know how it works, you can experiment in multiple different ways. Okay, so it is now taking a um, fixed value. You can keep it in a variable and pass it. So whichever way you want. Okay, now this output is a boolean kind of output if you see indicates if the text exists or not the field supports only boolean variables that means the output will be true or false simple so here in the output i will do control plus k and i will say output create a variable called output now if you go to variable section you will find uh, the output is a boolean type done now all i have to do is use a message box to see whether how it works so if I use a message box and if I say, let's say, I'll just uh, print the variable data done. So my workflow is ready. Now, any other thing that I should know about text exist. Okay. So all of these things I have explained, uh, um, you know, how, how all of these things works. Now here, if you see the text, whatever input we have given process when the invoice goes to this specific, specific field. So let's run this and see what it does so it's going to open up the site okay now the entire section it started highlighting and it is saying yes this text exists done so this is quite wonderful what if i type something wrong let's say if i go to this workflow once again and i'm going to say uh, i will mistype it or let's say i'm going to play some number and try to run this so let's see how it works Okay, once again, it's going to open the page. <coughs> and the the output now will wait for 30 milliseconds. Remember, in UiPath, this is the default uh, timeout uh, 30 seconds. Okay, so it, it is going to constantly check for next 30 seconds uh, whether that is going to appear on the screen or not. If it appears, then it will say true. If not, it should say false. So we'll have to wait for another couple of seconds. So you can reduce that time. You can increase that time. I can show you that place just after this. So you can see the output has come as false. Let's say you do not want to wait for 30 seconds. You will say, Rakis, I want to reduce that time. Yes. So what you do, wait for ready, right? So if you click here, the default time is 30 seconds. If you highlight also, it will tell you um, uh, before performing the action, wait for the target to become ready. So. Um, sorry timeout not this one 
the time of millisecond okay this is 30 seconds by default in case you want it in a quicker um, second so let's say i want within two seconds so what i will do i'll simply say 2000 milliseconds and click on okay so now you will see if i run this now the output will the false output will come quite quickly okay so like this you can experiment a lot of things for your knowledge and for your experience you can learn a lot of things like this okay now it has opened up okay so now within two seconds it should show me the output you can see that right the output has come quite quickly this time so thank you guys for watching please do not forget to hit on the like button please continue to support for our channel please continue by uh, supporting by hitting on the like button by sharing our videos with your friends um, and thanks for subscribing to our channel thank you guys you guys have a wonderful day